Have you ever wondered what type of freshwater fish you can farm with? Well, you're not alone. Aquaculture, the farming of fish, shellfish, and aquatic plants is a rapidly growing field. It's not just about feeding the world. It's also about sustaining our planet. With over 70% of Earth's surface covered by water, it's only logical we look towards our vast oceans and serene freshwater bodies to provide us with sustainable food sources. It's an exciting time for aquaculture enthusiasts, as more and more people are taking an interest in farming freshwater fish. Whether it's to cultivate a source of healthy food, contribute to conservation efforts, or simply as a rewarding hobby, farming freshwater fish offers a myriad of possibilities. This video aims to provide insights on different types of freshwater fish suitable for farming. From the robust tilapia to the versatile carp, we'll explore a variety of fish that can thrive in a farm setting. So, stay tuned as we dive into the world of freshwater fish farming. First on our list is the popular choice for beginners tilapia. This fish, prized for its mild flavor and tender flesh, is a superstar in the realm of fish farming. But what makes tilapia a preferred choice for many? Well, for starters, Tilapia is known for its hardiness. These fish are able to thrive in a variety of conditions, making them an excellent choice for those new to the world of aquaculture. They can withstand different water quality levels, including low oxygen levels and high ammonia concentrations, which might pose a challenge for other fish species. This resilience makes tilapia less susceptible to disease, reducing the need for constant monitoring and treatment. Another reason why tilapia is favored in fish farming is its rapid growth rate. Tilapia can reach market size in as little as six months under optimal conditions. This makes them a productive and profitable choice as they can be harvested several times a year. The quick turnaround time from hatchling to harvest allows farmers to see a return on their investments sooner, keeping the business cycle flowing smoothly. But it's not just about how easy they are to rear. The demand for tilapia in the market is significant. Tilapia is a staple in many cuisines around the world from Asia to America, making it a globally sought-after fish. Its versatility in cooking and neutral flavor make it an appealing choice for consumers, ensuring a consistent market demand. The combination of tilapia's hardiness, quick growth and market demand makes it a compelling choice for those starting in aquaculture. Whether you're planning to start a small-scale operation in your backyard or dreaming of a larger commercial venture, tilapia offers a solid foundation to build upon. So there you have it. Tilapia, a great starter fish for those venturing into aquaculture. And remember, success in fish farming is not just about choosing the right fish, but also about understanding their needs and providing them with the appropriate care. Now, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Farming Know How for more insightful content. Next, we have the hardy and adaptable catfish. These fascinating creatures have characteristics that make them an ideal choice for aquaculture. One of the main reasons is their impressive adaptability. Catfish can thrive in a variety of water conditions, making them easy to farm in different environments. Essentially, they're the poster fish for resilience in the world of aquaculture. Another crucial aspect that makes catfish suitable for farming is their omnivorous diet. They can consume a wide range of food including plants, insects, and small aquatic animals. This dietary flexibility allows farmers to provide cost-effective feed, making it economically viable to rear catfish. Now, let's talk about the different species of catfish. There's a broad spectrum to choose from, each with its unique traits. The channel catfish with its high growth rate and tasty flesh is a popular choice among farmers. Then there's the blue catfish, known for its size and robust nature. The flathead catfish, with its distinctive shape and predatory nature, adds a bit of variety to the mix. There are many more species out there, each adding a unique flavor to the catfish farming industry. The market demand for catfish is another factor worth considering. The catfish's mild, creamy flesh is a culinary favorite, finding its way into a variety of dishes. In fact, catfish farming contributes significantly to the seafood industry, with millions of pounds of catfish being consumed annually. This high demand, coupled with the catfish's fast growth and breeding rate, means that catfish farming can be a profitable venture. However, as with any farming endeavor, it's important to do your research and understand the specific needs of the species you're planning to farm. This includes understanding the optimal water conditions, dietary requirements, and potential challenges associated with catfish farming. Catfish, a robust choice for those looking for a resilient breed. They're not just survivors, they're thrivers capable of adapting to various conditions while providing a steady supply of delicious seafood. So if you're considering diving into the world of aquaculture, 
catfish might just be the perfect fish for you. Third on our list is a cold water lover, the trout. The trout is a fish that thrives in colder waters, making it a popular choice for aquaculture enthusiasts in chillier climates. But it's not just the cold that these finned friends are fond of, it's also the fast-moving, oxygen-rich waters that they find irresistible. This means they're perfect for farming in areas with a ready supply of fresh, clean water like mountain streams or spring-fed ponds. Now, you might be wondering, why trout? Well, aside from its suitability to colder climates, trout is also known for its unique, earthy flavor that's a huge hit in the culinary world. Whether it's smoked, grilled, or baked, trout has found its way onto dinner tables around the globe, driving its market demand. Trout farming also offers a chance to tap into the organic and local food movements. Many consumers are willing to pay a premium for locally sourced, sustainably farmed trout, which can mean a healthy profit for farmers. But not all trout are created equal. There are several species of trout, each with its own unique characteristics. The rainbow trout, for instance, is known for its beautiful, iridescent skin and is a favorite among anglers. It's also quite hardy and adapts well to farming conditions. On the other hand, the brown trout is loved for its robust, nutty flavor. It's a bit more sensitive to changes in water quality, but with the right care, it can thrive in a farm setting. Then there's the brook trout, a native of eastern North America. This species prefers cooler waters and has a slightly sweeter flavor, making it a popular choice for smoking. Each species of trout offers something different, both in terms of farming and flavor. It's up to you to decide which one suits your needs and tastes the best. So, if you're in a cooler region looking for a fish to farm, consider the trout. Its adaptability to cold environments, high market demand and the variety of species make it a compelling choice. Trout, the ideal choice for those in cooler regions. Last but not least we have the versatile and much-loved carp. Dive into the world of carp farming and you'll find a species that's as adaptable as it is popular. Carp have been farmed for centuries across the world, thanks to their hardy nature and their ability to thrive in a variety of different conditions. From the clear waters of European lakes to the muddy ponds of Asian rice fields, carp have proven time and time again that they're a species that can adapt and flourish. One of the key reasons why carp are so popular in aquaculture is their versatility. Whether you're raising them in a large-scale commercial operation or a small backyard pond, carp are a species that can fit into just about any setup. They're robust, they're resilient, and they're able to withstand a wide range of water temperatures and conditions. Whether the water is clear or murky, warm or cold, carp can handle it. Another reason why carp are a popular choice for fish farming is their market demand. Carp are a staple in many cuisines around the world, from the hearty stews of Eastern Europe to the delicate sashimi of Japan. They're prized for their firm, flavorful flesh, which lends itself well to a variety of different cooking methods. Whether it's grilled, baked, or fried, carp is a fish that's always in demand. But perhaps the most compelling reason to consider carp for your aquaculture operation is their potential for profitability. Carp grow quickly, they breed easily, and their market demand means that there's always a ready market for your product. Whether you're selling them fresh at the local market or exporting them frozen to international buyers, carp can offer a steady source of income that's hard to beat. Carp, a beloved classic in the world of aquaculture. They're a species that stood the test of time, proving their worth in farms and fisheries across the globe. Whether you're new to aquaculture or a seasoned pro, carp are a species that's worth considering. So, there you have it four fantastic freshwater fish that you can farm with. We've taken a dive into the world of tilapia, a resilient and fast-growing species, ideal for beginners. We've explored the domain of catfish, a fish known for their hardy nature and popularity in various cuisines. Then we moved on to trout, a cold water species that requires a bit more care, but rewards with high market value. And finally we touched on carp, a fish with a rich history of cultivation and a wide dietary range, each of these species offers unique advantages and your choice should align with your resources, climate and market demand. Remember thorough research and careful planning are the bedrock of successful fish farming. Remember, successful fish farming starts with the right choice of fish. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to Farming Know-How for more informative content. Until next time, happy farming!